welcome to my sewing room and welcome to Friday Sews. If we've not met, my name is Christine and this is my channel Christine Sews A Lot where I talk about all things sewing. If you stay until the end, I'm going to tell you about a really fun challenge being run over on Instagram by a couple of my favorite YouTube creators. I plan on participating. I'm going to start off, as I usually do, telling you what I am wearing. Today, I am wearing the Remy Raglan Top by Sew House 7. I sewed this top up in a straight size 20, and I used this maroon rayon fabric from fabric.com. I will link the information in the discussion box below. I really do love this pattern. I love the sleeves. I love how it can go casual or dressy depending on how you wear it. And I love that I can tuck it in or wear it out. I'm going to insert a video of some twirls so you can see a better view of this top. The Remy Raglan is very size inclusive. There are two size bands. The first size band goes from double zero to 20 with size measurements of a bust of 31, waist of 23 and a half, and hips of 34 for the double zero, and the size 20 of 47 inch bust, 39 and a half inch waist, and 50 inch hip. On the curvy range, it goes from a size 14 to a 34, and the size 34 has measurements for a 61 and a half inch bust, a 57 and a quarter inch waist, and 65 inch hips. This blouse is designed for somebody who is 5'6 to 5'7 tall. I'm 5'4 and I found the length of this blouse to be perfect for me. So if you're taller, you may want to increase the length of the bodice. It's a very full and flowing top. So also you might want to look at the finished garment size when deciding which size to sew up. My latest sew was for my grandson. I wanted to find a new t-shirt pattern to try. And so I purchased from True Bias the Mini Rio Ringer T. And the main difference in this t-shirt with the other t-shirt pattern that I already had was in how the ribbing at the neck is installed and the ribbing on the sleeves. You will see it's a really clean finish. It's installed in the flat and folded over. So that's really nice and smooth around the neck band. And this is the only point that is joined with the serger, is one shoulder seam. And it's the same on the sleeves. It'll be interesting to see if he finds this more comfortable. It takes maybe a little bit more time. And the one thing I would note is that when I was serging this, that was a, real, that was a lot for my serger to go through and cut off with the knife blade. So I started at the ribbing so that it would not pull off and I just went slow. So I'm anxious to see how he likes his new t-shirt. Promised you information on a fun Instagram challenge. Kim Gaddy Sews and Simply the Delilah are hosting a challenge over on Instagram. And I'm gonna link in the description box below their videos where they talk about the challenge and their Instagram handles. Basically, you sew something very festive and full of holiday spirit as a garment, tag them, and use the hashtag, I'm so festive, and you'll be entered into a drawing for prizes. I think it's going to be really fun to see what everybody's making for Christmas. Let me know in the comments below if you plan on participating or if you've got something fun planned for Christmas. I'm going to give you a sneak peek at what I am sewing. I am making pajamas for the grandchildren and for me. 
If any of the other adults in the family would like some, I would gladly sew for them, but there's not been a lot of interest expressed in the pajamas by the adults. This is a fun candy cane stripe that I purchased from So So English. It was really inexpensive fabric uh, cotton jersey. So for the grandsons, I am making the Brianna pajamas. I've already made a pair before for my grandson. They like this. It's a pajama pattern by Violet Field Threads. And even though it's technically a girl pattern, I think it's unisex and I gladly make these for my grandsons. My granddaughter is still in the baby sizes. And so for her, I am using the Patterns for Pirates peg pattern for her bottoms and the wee lap tee to make her top. So baby girl will also be getting some pajamas. Today's Friday Sews topic of discussion is what is the best compliment you've ever received on something you have sewn? And mine has got to be on one of the earliest garments I ever made. I can't believe I'm saying this now. But one of the first garments that I made was a christening gown for a baby at church. We had, we have friends in Auburn who adopted a little girl and she was 18 months old and they were concerned that they couldn't find a proper christening gown for size 18 month child. And I just raised my hand and said, I would love to make this as my gift to you. So I made a smocked bishop dress and just extended the length to where it would be give a nice armful drape. And I don't have a picture of this dress, but it turned out beautiful. I had hem stitching on the sleeves with tatting and then also on the bottom with tatting. And then I smocked a geometric design um, in ecru on the top and it came out beautiful. And the compliment was that so many people after the baptism came up to our friends and commented on what a beautiful gown it was and asked, is this an heirloom gown from your family? What better compliment could I have that as a beginner sewist, that people were mistaking my work for a long beloved heirloom gown. So that was the best compliment I have ever received. Let me know in the comments below what is the best compliment that you have received on something that you have made. If you'd enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you'd give it a like and hit the subscribe button. And I have other videos I think you may enjoy that I'll include in the end cards. And until next time, I hope that you have a joyful week and you find the good in all things, especially sewing.